to this point, you had to beat so many like crazy players from all around the world. I don't even know how many like Japanese players made it this far, but like just the amount of talent in the building is insane. It's just crazy. So, yep, Alvin Wizrobe, they're getting right into it. Pika, uh, Yoshi, and pretty, pretty expected matchup from these two. Oh, yeah, right away. Wizrobe immediately finds that big zero to death combo that Yoshi's so capable of in this matchup. And it's interesting, I know Alvin has been practicing this matchup a bit. Of course, in the past, he'd really struggled with it at his first Smash Con. He lost to Karaba, who at the time was kind of an unknown, and I think uh, Bono Bono for a really rough result. Since then, you know, he's worked on learning the Yoshi matchup. He actually has a pretty strong Yoshi himself. And, uh... Yeah, although Wizrobe right now, his combo game, he's been landing these openings and taking big advantage of them. Oh, boy. And just like that, four stocks to one, Alvin. You gotta do, make something happen. Oh, the Alvin, huge down air. Off to Doki a really I? rough start here. Wizro just going in. Yeah, and they, waiting for the parries, playing very patiently, as you would expect from him. And oh. just finds the turnaround up air. Oh my god. Wizro with a four stock and top eight balls? This is like top 12 or top 16? That's crazy. Yeah, an incredibly short game number one. Wizlobe has been warming up Alvin. I believe was getting uh getting food. Oh boy. Right away, quick grab. Oh, but the, the ed edge guard, nothing doing. Wizrobe challenging as he comes back to stage, not relying on his double jump arm. Sorry for any background noise, guys. It's yeah, it is really a really packed venue here. A bit loud in the venue here with melee going on. A great single zip there from Alvin. Oh boy. Nice recovery. Oh, the downer hits him off stage. And Alvin just makes an up B mistake. And Wizrobe again with this early lead. Oh, here we go. Some fight here from Alvin. That should be just an edge hog. No, oh. he messes up his up B. He was trying to go for the ledge. Maybe he realized it was wrong, but couldn't make the adjustment in time. And let's Wizrobe back. Oh, nice. Nice uh, neutral here. Wizrobe playing pretty evasive. Nice. And Alvin, keeping it much closer this time. Only down only down a little bit of percent right now. That's not really material in this matchup. <clears throat> you know, character with such a strong punish game as these two, you don't really need to have a percentage advantage to, to stay in the game. Uh, Alvin. Playing so tricky, hanging out under Wizrobe does find that up tilt. Yeah, and <laughs> wow, that's, with no look at that thunder jump. jolt. Beat the egg. The two little projectiles. Mm -hmm. And Alvin retreating up to top platform, a strong place to be against Yoshi for a lot of characters. Yoshi kind of struggles to approach vertically. Oh, that was so close to a shield break. Ooh, nice up B, but he just oh. up B's right back to where he was before. Wizard not getting shaken by it. Oh, but this up smash is going to be, no, not getting. You know, you always expect when you Pikachu lands his up smash, you're going to see a big combo. And right there, the top plat saving Alvin. Very close match. Alvin dash dancing just out of the range of the dash attack and gets the grab. Yep. Wizro really using his uh, normals as he's coming in, not relying on that double jump armor. He wants to beat out whatever Alvin's doing and have the chance to DI that fair. Oh, that was such a tight shield break, and of course that's going to kill. Yeah, the uh, backwards facing shield break. Here's the kill there, but Alvin's survivability, he's had such uh, such good recoveries in this match. Yeah. That's given him a bunch of extra chances. So even though he's kind of been losing the neutral quite a lot, the strength of his recoveries has given him the second chances to fight back and give him a lead in the second game that's looking a lot better than game number one. Oh man, this opening. Oh, but the double jump, did he get the double jump? It doesn't matter if he got the double jump, he's dead. Yeah. A rare miss from Wizard. Looks like he messed up his movement there just a little bit. Oh, we got some coaching from Dogs Johnson. You know, Dogs Johnson, one of those players that uh, he's just knows 
tons about the game. So Yeah, Dogs is uh, quite a big fan of coaching himself. Uh, you'll see him in a lot of big sets, either doing the coaching or whenever he's got an important match on stream. Yeah, He'll have some very, very skilled player like an Isaiah or a Boom fan lined up to coach him. Yeah, it, it's, tempta it's tempting to see somebody play all Falcon in tournament and be like, oh, he probably doesn't have a brain. But <laughs> actually, uh, any of you make it this far with Falcon, you have to be smart. You have to outplay your opponent every game. So... But yeah, this is this setup or this match is just really close. I'm, I was worried that Alvin was going to be a little bit of mental, mentally broken after that first game, but he brought it back real quick, and now we're getting into game three. Yeah, an incredible adjustment, and you know, I wonder if that might be partially just the difference between who's coming in warmed up versus who was uh, eating a meal. Um, Wizrob. You know, Ooh, he oh, he grabs the ledge, Wizrub overextends. And what could have been a big combo for Wizrub suddenly turns into the stock for Alvin. He takes the stock without even hitting Wizrub. Oh my god. Oh, the forward smash, that has to be a mistake. And Alvin getting punished for it. Wait, a This is death. Yeah, with Alvin knocked down, he's forced to get up eventually, and Wizrub just waits for it, knowing that any uh, wake up option is very reactable. All right, forward throw. Gets the oh, nice. Grab. Opts to go for forward throw edge guard instead of going uh, for a back throw into another grab. So. Oh, that should be death. Yeah. Wizrub keeping it, keeping, trying to keep the lead here, avoiding the invincibility well, and. Any hit? Who's gonna get this hit? Ooh. Yeah, Alvin, you know, maybe not the best DI uh, to get out of those down air drills, but he does have some incredible combos. Carries him off stage and uses that ledge attack. I think the ledge attack actually broke armor there. Yoshi was at such high percent, and he yeah, just grabbed silly. him uh, after Wizard missed the attack. Oh, but he's stuck in shield. This could be another shield break. No, just barely gets the um, shield poke. Yeah, he was getting pushed off too. And Alvin escapes. Oh, this is a big punish. Alvin with a yeah, huge combo, that. almost identical to the one before. Those forward facing up air chains, a specialty of Alvin. And suddenly he's up in game number two. It feels like he's really come alive. Yeah, and Wizard's playing a little scared maybe. Like he, he was kind of running away. Ooh, that really difficult diagonal angle he went for there. Makes his way to the ledge. The same thing we saw Yashi do earlier. Alvin uses that Peruvian special angle that's so difficult to cover. He goes for it again, and two for two, he makes it back from a difficult position. Yeah. Wizard just not able to edge guard here. Alvin's angles are being amazing, and Wizrobe recognizing that Alvin's just waiting for a push off and just decided to grab him. Good stuff. Oh, no jump here, is able to land. And this is such a dangerous position. It's dangerous for Pika too, fighting on the ground like this. Any mistake, if Wizrobe's able to get a parry or armor through an up tilt, could actually mean death here for Alvin, despite the percent disparity. And there oh, it is, he tries to up tilt and gets big. armored. This is a huge opening. No, Wizrobe dash attacks by parry. mistake twice. Finds a parry anyway. And Alvin jumps out, another dash attack. Both these guys, I feel like, are making some crucial mistakes here. At this point, Wizrobe has so many kill confirm options. You you have to be so keyed up as Alvin. You have to you, like you have to just make sure you get this next opening. It's really a next touch kill situation here. Wizrobe jumping in with that backwards nair. Really large hitbox. The fast fall up it, or fast fall forward air. Yeah. Powerful, but Wizrobe able to jump away. DJC down air. Whenever you see Wizrobe ca crouching like that, he's going for a parry. Yeah, it's difficult, and he armors through the up tilt again. And that's finds it. Finds that opening the same way, and Alvin just isn't able to convert the two to one stock lead. Goes down, now two to one in games. If Wizrobe wins this, he is in top eight, and Alvin is eliminated from the tournament. Yep, Alvin coming all the way from Peru. You know, when you travel, it makes it that all that more important because you spent so much time, effort, money getting here. And, you know, this is the this is a once in a year event. This is something that everybody in the world that plays Super Smash Brothers came here to do. 
If you choke now, then you don't even make top eight. Then you didn't, then all that work is just down the drain. Yeah, it's been years since Alvin has missed a top eight. You know, he made top eight in 2019, made top eight in 2022, I think even in 2018 as well. So it has been a long time since Alvin has come to Super Smash Gun and not placed in the top eight. And you know he's not gonna go down without a fight. Had that advantage going in the previous game, looked like he had it. And Wizzero just able to armor through a couple up tilts and totally change the situation around. Mm -hmm. He needs to be careful about that. His neutral otherwise looked quite strong. And you know it's obvious oh, Alvin has that was it a in him. Wizard Rope trying to use the egg to get to the ledge. A really powerful recovery option that Yoshi has, but of course very risky if you miss time it even slightly. Yeah, these players are staying so focused right now. They're locked in. Oh, tries oh, to up smash, but gets parried. Oh, that doesn't kill you. I thought he was gonna go for up smash. Nice oh, DI the there DI. keeps him alive. It looks like Wizard Rope was not expecting that. Yeah, when you're when you're on the ledge like that, you actually are considered a touching the wall. So anytime you get hit, you'll bounce off the wall, and that's why uh, Alvin didn't really go anywhere. Yeah, the ledge bounce, of course, reduces your momentum by a lot. Alvin, this time Wizrub is able to get that egg recovery to the ledge, and that gets him the kill. Alvin, not expecting it, finds his back here just hitting an egg. Oh, this is big. And Alvin's so this aggressive here on the ground. Four tilts, the DI, the he DI tried so enough. hard. He tried so hard, there's nothing you can do. And that aggression on the ground, Alvin is paying for it. It's All right, such tied a up. risky place to fight Yoshi in the corner there where it's single egg tilt as we saw convert into a kill. It's all tied up. Really close game. This game three, Wizro needs to take it in order to win the set. Alvin, his tournament life on the line here. Finding those up airs under the platform and he armors through. This is a oh, huge opening for Wizro. Yeah. Goes for the perfect land, gets the up smash. Not quite gonna kill. But oh, the that's egg it. finds him. No, I thought he was gonna go for up yeah, air. Up I thought up air would right? kill. Goes for the back air instead. Maybe he wasn't sure he could hit the up air. It is a small hitbox. Oh, it's true. Oh, the and spacing Alvin gets is another so careful. On this life, that's the jump for Wizro, but Wizro able to make it to the ground. And yeah. Now Alvin seems like willing to fight on the ground again, even though it's so dangerous against Yoshi. And that back air, I think, would kill that massive hitbox that Yoshi can just keep throwing uh -oh. out. Al Wizro cornering himself. He used a double jump. Yes, yeah, somehow Wizro. Lost the stage position there. I don't know how. Just gave it up. Oh, the jabs, yeah, the though. Jab. These will oh. cover the ledge. Alvin goes for a tricky angle. And this is potentially Alvin's tournament stock. Oh, far. you know what? It's so it's a great option to go for the grab at that ledge. but Yeah, denying that recovery for Wizrub. And Wizrub also on the final stock here. This is so close. Yeah. All of these games after game one have been very, very close. Alvin's got to make it something happen here. Alvin trying to fight out of the corner, finds that back air. Oh, the, the up, up smash. smash. Oh, the turn around. He keeps that. doing these up tilts. They seem so risky. Alvin waiting for Wizrobe to land so that way he doesn't need to deal nice with the Nice edge guard here, but he just oh. goes for no, Alvin. But that's a recovery. Goes for an F smash. That's, Wizrobe oh, makes that's it back. Death. That's death. And Wizrobe takes it. Holy recovering. Crap. Alvin looking a little shook. Doesn't seem able to play that matchup. Missing that crucial edge guard there with Wizard off stage. Just goes for the F smash. Yeah. And Wizard's punish game is so strong. Yeah, that was that forward smash was just such a big commitment. You know, it it's forward smash is a really good move from Pikachu, but it's also just very punishable. And uh, 